27강 실전 모의고사 3회 1번 다음을 듣고 남자가 하는 말의 목적으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, students. I'm John Edwards from the school office. We're always trying to find ways to improve your safety during your school bus commute. So, we would appreciate it if you could fill out a survey about your school bus experience. The survey sheet has been mailed to your home. It consists of 20 questions that ask about your perception of safety rules related to waiting for the bus, boarding the bus, being on the bus, and getting off the bus. Your answers will be very helpful in determining how we can make riding the bus safer for you. After filling out the survey, please submit it to your homeroom teacher. Thank you for your cooperation. 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 의견으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Allison, where are you going? I'm going to the bookstore to get some books for my business trip. Why do you need books for your business trip? Reading helps me relax. I get really nervous when I travel. I see. Why do you get nervous on business trips? Because I feel stressed about having to adapt to new cultures. I understand. I heard that reading is good for that. And I'm sure you'll have some time to read. I'm guessing you're not working around the clock. Right. I read during the flight or before going to bed. That's useful to know. I'll try that on my next business trip. Absolutely. Reading in my spare time while traveling always helps me become less tense. You've convinced me. 3번 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르시오. Hello. Have you ever picked tomatoes before? No. It's my first time. It's fun, isn't it? Yes. Look at these ones I picked. They're so big. Did you plant them? Yes. I started them from seeds indoors, and then I planted the seedlings out in the farm. That's so cool. I'm sure everybody who participates in this program has a great time. Most people said they really enjoyed their time here. For me, it's meaningful to show people what goes into farming. I've learned a lot about farming in just the short time I've been here. That's good. I'd like to give people a chance to harvest crops for themselves and enjoy them. So, what are you going to do with your tomatoes? My mom is going to slice them up for our salad tonight. I'm happy to just think about the crops from my farm on the table. I'm going to pick some corn now. Do you want to go with me? Sure. That sounds like fun. Okay, I'll go grab a couple of buckets. 4번 대화를 듣고 그림에서 대화의 내용과 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hi, Jack. What are you looking at on your smartphone? Hi, Anna. It's a picture of my bedroom in my new apartment. Do you want to see it? Sure. Wow, it's so neat and clean. I like the two speakers on the shelf. I like them too. What do you think of the desk under the shelf? It's new. I really like it. I got it because nowadays I sometimes work from home. And see the clock between the lights? It took me over 30 minutes to hang it. It wasn't easy to drill the hole in the wall. I know what you mean. This rugby ball-shaped pillow on the bed is really cool. Where did you get it? My friend gave it to me for my birthday. Oh, it's really nice. I like how you have two plants in the corner. Plants always make a room feel clean and comfortable. Yeah, that's why I got them. Your new bedroom is really nice. 
5번 대화를 듣고 남자가 여자를 위해 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. What are you doing, Ms. Jones? Hi, Mr. Morris. I'm reading a travel guidebook about national parks. Oh, are you planning a family trip? No, it's for a school trip. Nice. What are you preparing for the students? I'll make a handout for them so that they can learn about the parks before they go. Good idea. Will you add pictures? No. Do you think I should? Well, I think it would look better with pictures. Or you can edit video clips about the parks and then show them to your students. That's a good idea, but I don't know how to edit videos. I'll do it for you. Thank you very much. I think my students will like it. You're welcome. 6번 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 금액을 고르시오. Good afternoon. Welcome to Happy Computers. What can I help you with? Hi. I'd like to buy a new mouse for my computer. They're over here. We have a wired and a wireless type. How much are they? The wired type is $10 and the wireless type is $20. Hmm. I'll take one wireless mouse. It's a lot more convenient to use. I agree. And I'd like something to protect my children's eyes from looking at computer screens all day. Do you have anything for that? Yes. We have blue light blocking glasses that make your eyes less tired. I heard about those. How much are they? They're $15 a pair. Okay. I'll take two pairs. And can I use this 10% discount coupon? Yes, but only for the glasses. It doesn't apply to the mouse. Anyway, it's good to get a discount. Here's my credit card. 7번 대화를 듣고 여자가 볼링 대회에 참가하지 못하게 된 이유를 고르시오. Hey, Chloe, are you okay? You look upset. I feel terrible because I can't play in the bowling tournament next week. But you're really good at bowling. Why can't you play? Are you injured? No, I'm fine. Oh, is it because the tournament was moved from Sunday to Saturday? It has nothing to do with the schedule change. Well, don't tell me that it's because you and your coach had a disagreement in practice last week. It's not that. Actually, we talked about it after practice and came to an agreement about the problem. Everything is great between me and my coach. That's good. Then what is it? Actually, I forgot to send in my participation form for the competition before the deadline. Oh, no. That's too bad. I know. I can't believe it happened. 8번 대화를 듣고 미드타운 스프링 페스티벌에 관해 언급되지 않은 것을 고르시오. Noah, I saw a poster for the Midtown Spring Festival on the way to work. Cool. Last year's festival was so much fun, wasn't it? We should go again this year. Definitely. It's going to be at Lake Wingra again. Nice. The lake is so beautiful. Plus, it's really accessible. Yes, it's easy to get there by subway. It's just a 10-minute walk from the station. When is it? Friday, May 20th to Wednesday, May 25th. Okay, cool. How about going there on the weekend? Sounds good. And this year, they're going to have a farmer's market and a dog walking event on Saturday and Sunday. Awesome. We should bring our dogs with us. Good idea. That'll be fun. Then we should drive instead of taking the subway. Okay. There's a public parking lot nearby. Great. 
9번 2022 스튜던트 스페이스 아트 콘테스트에 관한 다음 내용을 듣고 일치하지 않는 것을 고르시오. Hello everyone. I'm Jacob Jones from Infinity Space Foundation. I'm happy to let you know about the 2022 Student Space Art Contest. It's an annual event aimed at getting students interested in space. This year, the theme of the contest is space travel, a subject which recently people have shown a lot of interest in. Students aged 8 to 18 are invited to participate. Participants should submit a piece of artwork related to space travel. Only one piece of artwork can be submitted per participant. All submissions must be digital files in the JPEG format, and the files must be less than 10 megabytes in size. The submission deadline is September 1st. A total of 25 winners will be announced on September 30th. For more information, visit our website www.infinityspacefoundation.net. Good luck! 10번 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 구입할 책상용 스마트폰 거치대를 고르시오. Olivia, are you shopping on your phone? Yeah, for a smartphone holder for my desk. I found a good site. Which one do you think I should get? Let's see. Do you have a budget? I'd like to keep it under $25. Then you should eliminate this one. Oh, this one doesn't fully rotate. I wouldn't get it. Yeah, I agree. Not being able to fully rotate it would be annoying. For sure. So, it's down to these three. Yep. Maybe just go with the white one. I could, but the other two are really cool looking. I prefer one of them. You're right. They are cool colors. Then you should choose between these two. Well, one has a secure lock feature and the other doesn't. Hmm. I think it'd be safer to have a secure lock feature. Absolutely. Then you should buy the one with it. Okay, I'll get that one. 11번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Clara, a lot more students came to the job fair than we expected today. Yeah, they're very interested in the fair because it's getting harder to get a job these days. Actually, I don't think we'll have enough pamphlets for tomorrow. 12번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Good morning, Jordan. You're a little late for work. I'm afraid so. I left home later than usual. Plus, I was stuck in a traffic jam for over an hour. It's Monday, Jordan. You always have to be prepared for Monday's rush hour traffic. 13번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Isabella, what do you want to do after you graduate? Well, actually, I just got a job at an automobile company last week. Congratulations! When do you start working? Not until next month, which is good because I'd like to travel a little bit before I start working full time. That's cool. How about you? Do you have plans after you graduate? I'm planning to enroll in a class to learn how to repair car engines. Is that something you're interested in? Yeah. I've always loved cars. The class is three months long, so I think I'll be able to get a job afterwards. Really? 
But don't you think you'll have to learn more? About what? If you're going to work on cars, you need to know about the structure and types of cars, don't you? You're probably right. I thought all I'd need to do is to take the class. Hi, Carter. How is preparing for the magic show on Friday going? Hi, Camilla. We just finished setting up the stage, so everything's ready. Great. Thanks. By the way, you seemed deep in thought this morning. What do you mean? You walked right past me in the hallway without saying hi. Really? I'm sorry. I didn't even notice. That's all right. I've just had so much on my mind recently with the musical I'm producing. I bet. How's preparation going? Let's just say I'm a little worried. Why is that? Because the musical is in just two weeks and there's still a lot to do. And we're short of people. 15번 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 엘리자베스가 로건에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Elizabeth jogs in the park near her house on weekends. Not many people are in the park in the morning, so Elizabeth usually goes for a jog at that time. One Sunday morning, she sees a man riding a bicycle, which is not allowed in the park. When she gets close to him, she realizes that it's Logan, a co-worker of hers, who recently moved to the neighborhood. Elizabeth says hello to him. She assumes that Logan doesn't know that biking isn't allowed in the park, so she wants to tell him about it. In this situation, what would Elizabeth most likely say to Logan? 16번부터 17번까지는 두번 들려줍니다. 16번과 17번 다음을 듣고 물음에 답하시오. Hello, students. Different animals eat different types of food. Their manner of eating is also different. Accordingly, their mouth is modified to suit their mode of eating. Today, I'll tell you about the relationship between how some animals feed and their body structure. First, some animals swallow their food whole. For example, snakes have very small teeth. Their teeth help them catch food, but they are not useful for chewing. But snakes are able to open their mouth really wide because their jaw bones are not connected. This allows them to swallow prey which is bigger than their mouth. Second, some animals chew and swallow their food. Deer chew grass and leaves and then swallow them. They have sharp, flat front teeth to help cut their food. And cows have a wide mouth and specialized teeth for eating tough vegetation, so they initially just swallow grass. Later, the grass comes back into their mouth and they chew it slowly. Lastly, some animals tear, grind, chew, and swallow their food. Lions tear and chew the flesh of their prey. They have sharp, curved front teeth that help tear the flesh. They also have strong grinding teeth in the back of their mouth to help chew the flesh. Now, here's a video about these animals. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Hello, students. Different animals eat different types of food. Their manner of eating is also different. Accordingly, their mouth is modified to suit their mode of eating. Today, I'll tell you about the relationship between how some animals feed and their body structure. First, some animals swallow their food whole. For example, snakes have very small teeth. 
Their teeth help them catch food, but they are not useful for chewing. But snakes are able to open their mouth really wide because their jaw bones are not connected. This allows them to swallow prey which is bigger than their mouth. Second, some animals chew and swallow their food. Deer chew grass and leaves and then swallow them. They have sharp, flat front teeth to help cut their food. And cows have a wide mouth and specialized teeth for eating tough vegetation, so they initially just swallow grass. Later, the grass comes back into their mouth and they chew it slowly. Lastly, some animals tear, grind, chew, and swallow their food. Lions tear and chew the flesh of their prey. They have sharp, curved front teeth that help tear the flesh. They also have strong grinding teeth in the back of their mouth to help chew the flesh. Now, here's a video about these animals. 16번 여자가 하는 말의 주제로 가장 적절한 것은? 17번 언급된 동물이 아닌 것은? 